Hi everyone. So I've had a lot of requests on um, how I do my everyday hair. So I'm going to share that with you today. I'm not going to um, show you, you know, from scratch how I blow dry, but I'm going to talk you through uh, my hair type, the products I use, and just how I blow dry it in general and how I care for my hair. So my hair is, um, my hair type is actually, I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it's usually very voluminous and um, I know a lot of people have the opposite problem where um, you know they feel they have too little hair and so they try to add more volume. But um, for me it's always going to the hairdresser and trying to debulk and get rid of that excess um, weight. I mean I love, I love what it is right now and I love what I can do with the volume but sometimes it just gets a little bit too much and it's the maintenance is um, you know, it can get quite quite tiring. So, my hair is also highlighted right now, and again, it needs to be, um, I need to get, uh, you know, my roots are showing, so I need to go back to the salon and get another, um, get some more highlights done. But I'm thinking that I might want to go a little bit darker this time. Um, I've been blonde for quite some time now, and I still want to be blonde, but I think I might want to add some low lights. Uh, sometimes I feel the bleaching really really gets makes my hair quite dry and it is naturally quite dry already so as you guys know i like to exercise a lot which means that i end up having to wash my hair a lot sometimes every single day sometimes every other day but um i definitely cannot afford to blow dry it every single day even though you know preferably i'd like to have hair like this every day but um, if you blow dry it, you know, with a brush and this intensely every single day, for me, my hair is going to dry out, especially because it's highlighted. So I try to limit it max twice a week. Um, and so what I do when I come out of the shower is, well, the shampoo I use is um, by Fekai, and it's shampoo and conditioner, the protein rich, thing is called protein rich prescription. And um, at least once a week, I try twice a week, I use the deep conditioning mask, um, and I'm blanking on the name, but if I think of it, I will let you know. Um, but yeah, mask for me is really important to do that on a regular basis just to keep hydrating the hair. Um, and when I come out of the shower, I like to use two types of products. The first one is the Moroccan oil, as I'm sure all of you are very familiar with. Um, it's the anti-frizz, because I do have a tendency to get a little bit frizzy if I were to leave my hair without blow drying at all, it would be quite frizzy. Not curly, but a little bit frizzy. So I use this, spray it, um, just a few squirts around my hair. I also like the consistency and the contrast of this serum to the spray, and I usually put this right on the ends just to keep the hairs moisturized. And it's called um, Melu Serum from, I think it's Avines or Davines. Um, and it's for it's for split ends, so repeal it's repairing serum, and it's really great. I recommend it, and both of them smell amazing, so that's definitely worth um, an investment. And it's actually lasted me a really long time as well. So I put that on um, just at the end, and then I actually, sorry, before I do that, I actually towel dry my hair um, quite a bit till it's you know I leave it for a good I'd say ten minutes to let the hair um, that just that. In all most of the moisture disappear and then I add these products and then after that I start to blow dry and the way that I do that is um, on the day you know try sweet that I actually do a proper blow dry I will section my hair off and I'll start from the bottom and I'll usually use a brush either this size um, this is by creative and it's a ceramic brush which is great because it retains the heat inside and it kind of acts like a curling iron in itself, but it's not, it doesn't get as hot, which is good for the hair. Or um, I'll use a brush this size. This is by Conair. You can get this in most um, supermarkets. So right now with this um, kind of curl, I'm actually using a brush about this size. And after I'm sectioning it off, I'm just, this time I curled it out. A lot of times I like to curl it in. So it's whatever, you know, you feel comfortable with. Since my hair is not that long, um, when I section it, I'm not actually taking it apart on both sides and curling it like this in because my hair isn't, isn't that long. So I'm just kind of going behind, taking a chunk of hair and just, you know, doing that and blow drying. 
The blow dryer that I love right now is the T3 Micro blow dryer and it's fantastic for anybody who's looking to invest in a blow dryer. Um, this one, the only thing that I don't like so much about it, this it, is that it doesn't have, it's not heat adjustable. So you can put on the cool option, but um, you can't actually, and you can put on high low, but you can't really switch the temperature. And the temperature of this is usually quite hot. So I try to keep it away from my hair at least one inch. So I'm not actually, you know, sometimes if you go to the salon, they'll just kind of burn your hair. They'll put the, the blow dryer right on your hair and it's like, yeah, it produces great results, but your hair is gonna burn in the process. So I try to keep it, you know, at least an inch away from the hair when I'm blow drying, but it works miracles, you guys, and it works so fast and it's incredible. If I could, I would get, um, I'm sure they have a new model of T3 Micro where you can actually adjust the heat just to make it a little bit uh, less hot. The other product that I love from T3 Micro is um, this curling iron. And it's actually a what they call a tongueless curling iron. Um, and uh, yeah, it, yeah. So it's a tongueless curling iron. And the way that you use this is that you actually need to put on a heat protective glove on the hand that you're going to be touching your hair and that you're gonna be, you know, touching the curling iron. Because it doesn't have a, um, a tongue, you're gonna to have to actually use your hands. I'm gonna show you now with the glove. Um, you're gonna to have to use your hands to place, actually I'm more comfortable with my right. <laughs> you're gonna to have to use your hands to place the hair around. So you're gonna do this. And you just hold it there. And it, you know, it, it's great if you want to do it. It can produce many different kinds of um, looks. You can do kind of like more of the beach wavy or if you want it to set more and look a little bit more like, um, you know, Mad Men 1940s, 50s style, that really, really chic, feminine curl, then um, after you do that, you set it with a pen and you just leave it, you know, for, leave it to set for about 20 minutes or something and you brush it out and it just produces those gorgeous curls. Um, I love this, but I try not to use it too often just because it's more damaging to the hair than, than blow drying. And as you know, I have a lot of problems with dry hair. Uh, I'm not really the type of person who likes to use hairspray, a lot of hair products. Um, I don't mind some serum, you know, just to kind of flatten out any any um, flyaways, um, but I don't, I, I don't like hairspray. I don't, I definitely don't like wax. I don't like the consistency. It's just too, uh, it's too rich. It's too rich for me. So I try just to let it be as natural as possible after I blow dried it. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's what I do, how I do my hair every day. I try to you know, expose it to as little heat as possible. That's not always possible because we need to, you know, blow dry our hair and style it and everything. Um, so that was my everyday, um, or I should say weekly, <laughs> bi-weekly hair routine. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments at all, any questions about the products I'm using, where I bought them, you know, how I compare them to any other products that I've used, Please feel free to leave your comments and I will definitely get back to you. Okay, bye.